What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Benji Gym. As you can see, we're continuing the uh, Ted, Les Ted Lasso, Ted Lasso, <laughs> Lasso series. Uh, this is going to be the season finale, actually. Uh, season one, episode ten. Season finale. Uh, if you guys want to see this full reaction, my Patreon link is down below. If you guys want to see my reaction from episode one through ten, it's already on my Patreon. You can go check that out. Um, if you guys have seen this, that means I already started season two. And season two, episode one, is on my Patreon. So yeah, <laughs> go check that out. I don't know why I did that. Ignore that. But uh, this episode is titled "The Hope That Kills You." Now, for those of you who don't know, "The Hope That Kills You" is a common phrase. It kind of just like boils down to like putting like maybe like all your dreams and things in like into one basket. It's very dangerous because like you know, what I mean, it can like, easily get crushed and like fall apart and stuff like that and like that that can destroy you so that's kind of like what the hope that will kill you kind of boils down to but yeah um with that title that tells me that like, this is not gonna be like one of those real fun episodes it's gonna be like probably like one of the serious ones a lot of drama they're supposed to be playing uh man city so i believe jamie's gonna be back I hope they get, hopefully we get to see some of the game. Uh, that'll be pretty dope. Uh, I'm, my, my prediction is that Roy's going to have an impact somehow. If not on the field, like, he's going to be, like, that captain on the sideline, like, you know what I mean? I just, I don't know. That's just my prediction. <laughs> I could be way off, but, like, but yeah. They, if, if he doesn't get on the field, like, and maybe, like, because he's benched, like, probably second half-ish type thing, on the sideline, he's going to have an impact somehow, some way, shape, or form. But we'll see when we do that. Um... Dang, what else I want to say? Oh, yeah, Rebecca apologized, so that's, that's dope. Her and Ted should be on good terms. I really want to see Ted's speech. Because, like, coaches really have, like, are known for, like, having great speeches, like, before a game. Because, like, that, you know what I mean? Budget team will get him ready to go out there. So I'm really interested to hear his speech, because his speech has been le legendary so far. Especially that darts one. Whew. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's probably one of my best, one of my best, one of my best, one of my favorite, uh, things ever. <laughs> like, I didn't even know the word to use. Not just this series, but, like, ever. It's, like, every year. That, that was, like, that was really good. Well written. Um, but, yeah, let's get into this reaction. I hit the like button, subscribe, turn notifications on, and here we go. I'm excited for this one. This should be real good. Who the hell are you? Ted, what the fuck's going on? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out myself. Figure what out? Have I been sacked? Has he been fired? I, I don't know anything about this, Ted. Oh, there you are. Good you morning, everyone. You shrew. You did this, didn't you? You know my name? Well, I had to spell it correctly for your contract. You've been promoted. Oh, that's dope. Well deserved. I like that. Promoted to what, though? Ooh. Oh, he gets a whistle. Nathan Shelley, I present to you this whistle. But it is sad. Do you know why? Because it has never been blown. Is that the same reason why Colin's sad? <laughs> that's wild. I now pronounce you... Coach Nate. Oh, he's gonna be assistant coach. That's dope. What the? No, Nate. <laughs> no, Nate. No. Not sure if you know this, but uh, the rules say you gotta pick a new captain. Oh. Captain has to be on the pitch. That's the rule. I say that the current captain has to pick the new captain. Mm. We have to. I decline. I insist. <laughs> Can't make it. Okay. Your duties as captain of this squad remain unfulfilled. <laughs> Manchester City is coming into our house. We could get relegated. We got relegated when I was at Cardiff. It's my family's team. My nana never spoke to me after that. Coach, do they not have relegation in America? No, no, no. You know, they play out the rest of the schedule, going through the motions and meaningless games, and everyone pretty much fine with that. Does right, that sound about right, Coach? Yeah, it's dumb. Yeah, I've been doing right. that with my now, team. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's up with him? He's too excited. <laughs> you gotta chill out. So, 
never say a bad word about my old club, even though I did carry him through every match. But they're good lads. Apart from Roy Kent, he is a knob. Someday I get to put the final nail in the ashes into the caramel. It's gonna get you. Oh. Oops, in it. Well said. All right, let's go climb that mountain. <laughs> if you come in last place in the Premier League, you get to play in the Championship. They also invented irony. Man, this town got a weird <laughs> way with words, don't it? I mean, come on, y'all. That is it's weird. Let's just call them cigarettes. You know oh, right? God, yes. You know what I mean? Because they're called. Hey, I'm not gonna say it, fellas? but that's why. Yeah, we, uh, we know you did your best, even though your best is still shit. <sighs> you act like we lost the game already, yeah? Why don't you have a little hope? It's the hope that kills you. Title. I don't let you text Nate. We got a little work to do tonight, huh? Crystal Palace beat Norwich by six goals and we avoid relegation with just a tie. No, 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 no. If God wanted games to end in a tie, she wouldn't have invented numbers. All right? Come on, guys. Let's fire <laughs> up. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. For the love of Megan, like... do not blow that whistle again, Nate. Come on. What's tell me how, how we whistle, beat Manchester man? City. We cannot beat Manchester City. Dang it, Nate. Well, I'm sorry. It's hopeless. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what, what happened? Why barely look like that? Quick question. Are those the only clothes you own? Got this? No, I've got three of these. Oh. Now ring a bell, Nate. But Tony's hanging up in here. This one's from the bathroom mirror. It's the first thing I see every morning, and it's the last thing I see at night when I rationalize being too tired to floss. <laughs> <laughs> You're both so damn pessimistic! <laughs> Sorry, Miss Shipley! So you're carrying around something today besides biscuits. Good eye, small fry. I hate to say it, Rebecca, but I think your football club might have been better off with a soccer coach. Where's this coming from? You just go ahead and do whatever you think is best for the future of this club, you understand? Yeah, even if that means, you know, this guy's got to go... You know, just put anything, just... Whatever you okay. got. Whatever you want to do. I mean, don't really murder me, but, you know, just... <laughs> There's a great saying in Dutch football. Well, I don't speak Dutch. That's why I was going to tell you in English. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Every disadvantage has its advantage. Yeah. I mean, sure, you don't know what you're doing. But doesn't that mean that you see the game in a different way than any other football manager? To cause confusion. Look at his mind going. Cause confusion. He got ideas. Or create chaos. Thanks, boss. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, she really. Wait, did. Is that improvised? <laughs> she like she really laughed. Ah, that looked like it hurt it. Trick play! That's what we call him back home. What do they call him again? Create chaos. He laughs at pieces. Beckham's Todger. Beckham, I know. Todger, I don't. It's dirty. Give me a favor and toss that so special there. He's a heck of a two. All right, guys. He got them right, you know what I mean? We gonna hit Man City with the chaos hammer. That's smart thinking, though. Got nothing to lose. Oh, Jamie Tarr. It's you, huh? Oh, is that the sussy dude? Yeah. Got fucked by Lasso. He likes you now, though. He talks about you on telly, doesn't he? You can fuck off. Oh. Yo. You fucking joking. Uh. I don't like scones. I'm not making scones, you idiot. Good. Why? You won't say anything, will you? <laughs> not everyone in your life is out to get you. I am. <laughs> what? Thought you respected honesty. <laughs> Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Enjoy the view from the bench. Oh no, nah, you won't let that house walk in. What? Well now I want my sheep peace. I wonder if he's serious. It doesn't look like you're doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I just gotta hope that everything I've been trying to teach them made some sort of impact on them. And that they'll make the right decisions when they're out there on their own. You know, it's kinda like being a dad, I guess, huh? That's cool, bud. <laughs> you get none of that. The Richmond faithful. Oh, we're gonna see the game. Crucial night. Win and they oh, stay that's up. dope. Blue. It's the hope that kills you. Oh, this sport. I've forgotten how stressful it is when you actually give a shit. I've never really cared about football. I know, but today, today I care very much. Ah. Uh -huh. Chester City. Like Wow, it's Rupert. It's David meets Goliath. TV. Wow. What do you have, Higgins? Jesus. Christ. And this is our eldest, Lindsay. Evening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to hear this speech. Such a m we'll have to start with veteran leadership. <sighs> Never stop breaking TVs. That's dope. I feel like, yeah, he deserves it. 
especially the way he reacted. Even though I don't really have that much screen time. So I've been hearing this phrase y'all got over here that I ain't too crazy about. I think it's the lack of hope that comes to get you. See, I believe in hope. I believe in belief. Do you believe in miracles? Now, I don't need y'all to answer that question for me, but I do want you to answer that question for yourselves. And if you do, then I want y'all to circle up with me right now. Come on, let's go. See, so, yeah, that got me going. Get me in here. I like it. See, so, yeah, Ted's special with these speeches. Right, Let them know. Wish me on 12. One. Two, three. No. Pretty sure he missed the eight. Return of Jamie Todd. So he's going to see some of the game. That's dope. Hey, Jamie. Good luck. Fucking mind games. It's Richmond. It's funny that he redid his mind games when Ted is just that nice. Explain me how that's offside. What? No, I'm serious. How is that offside? I don't understand it yet. And here comes Lowe. Lowe has to take the corner. It's a dummy. Oh, and another one. What is this? Dixon again. No, Ooh, Lindsay. okay. I actually like that. <laughs> nice move, nice move. Are we getting a little credit? Okay. Somebody check the Crystal Palace score. Hey, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. Okay? Look, we are not playing for a tie. Ain't nobody here going to kiss their sister. What? Which is an American phrase that I'm now realizing does not exist here. And that's, that's good because really it's creepy. I've never heard of it. Hate. Roy, you are starting the second half. Go ahead and start warming up. Let's go. Oh. That, is, that is a coach, what's name though? I can't hear you not. Coach would say anything. Okay, so I was right kind of so it's not from the bench, Roy's going to be in the game. It's dope. So row in position. Hendrick to take. Oh, Jamie not taking it? He scores! Where are you one goal down? There's still a chance. Come on, Richmond! Oh, I love you when you give a shit. Come on, Richmond! No one can catch him. Is Roy about to catch him? Hold on. Can you believe it? It's Ken. Let's go, Roy. Oh, wait. He's still down. Is he hurt? Oh, shoot. He's not getting up. Now, this looks serious. And they're sending out the physio. Roy. Fuck. Fuck my knee. What are you doing? Listen. That's dope. He's there! He's there! He's every fucking way! Roy Kent! He's there! He's there! He's every fucking way! Roy Kent! I like that! Kent will never leave on a stretcher. That's what gets stuck in my head. You gotta stop. <laughs> because he always left everything he had out on the pitch. And he did so tonight. This might be Chris, last does this game. almost feel like a farewell to you? I think this may be the last time we ever see the great Roy Kent lace up his boots. They don't even know his injuries if he's, if he's saying it, but yeah. I can see it being the, that was his last time playing. I hope not, but I can see it being it. Not back here during a game. Mm -hmm. I told you you have to get out. I mean it, stay the fuck away from me. That I got tear eyed because, like, that's some real. It's the sound of 26,000 people checking your mobiles. But then that means. Oh, then you got a tie. We just did a tie, boy! Come on, Richmond! Come on, Richmond! Oh, snap. Fouled hard by Schoenberg. You got Richard, you sell the crap out of that! Oh, wait, is he selling? No, Chris, he's definitely her. No, no. <laughs> I thought he was hurt for a second. That's so special. They caught that on their own too. The captain called it. Actually, what are they doing? American football. What the fuck is this? Obi Sanya goes in motion. Is a row yelling numbers and codes? Yeah, the whole cadence and everything. It's a Hail Mary to Obi Sanya. Rojas is all alone on the left. Vincent Sanya, there he is. Rojas! That's teamwork right there. That is teamwork right there. I like that. Surely enough to keep Richmond in the 
the Premier League. That's dope. We got time! We got time! Time! Well, from the kickoff, oh, City are back on the attack. It's only him and the goalkeeper. Let's see about that. Oh, he makes the extra pass. And he passed it. Hendrick buries. Damn. Manchester City win. And AFC Richmond's time in the Premier League is over. When you are. Oh, not the song to go with it, though. Storm. No, 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 no. Hold no. your head. Damn. It's a tough loss. It's a tough loss. It's over. You. Do you really think I'm going to come all the way down to London to watch my son pass the ball? Mad at him for being a team player? Nah, his pops is tripping. Like, they won. Mm, man, I know that feeling. Y'all played a heck of a game out there. Roy chased down his grandson. <laughs> Stopped him from getting an easy one. Now, look, this is a sad moment right here. I promise you, there is something worse out there than being sad, and that is being alone and being sad. Ain't nobody in this room alone. Sam, do you remember what animal has the shortest memory? That's right. It was a goldfish. Be sad now. So Sam did understand it. And then we can be a gosh darn goldfish. That's a that's a great closing speech. Not Jamie. Welcome. We're gonna make the extra pass, Ted. <laughs> that's all he really wanted Jamie to do was learn how to make the extra pass, and he did it. And he gave him everything. He better cry. I need you to talk. Thank you, Leslie. Is that your first name? That was my mother's name. I'm what's known as a feminine junior. That's a thing. She read a fire him. No, T and I are still on a lifelong hike. I think it's mighty unfair that you have to fire me. So if it's all the same to you, I'd like to spare you the trouble and just quit. I wrote it on the back of a takeout menu, but it's in an envelope <laughs> and I signed it. So, you know, it's legit. You are not going anywhere because we have work to do. They can get promoted. So the next year we get ourselves a promotion. Then we come back to this league and do something that no one believes we could ever do. Win the whole fucking thing. Ooh. Ted. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I get you? <laughs> Did I get you? Ah, oh, man. Football is life. <laughs> it's automatic football is life. <laughs> Ain't no way. Wow, well, yeah, yeah. So that's uh, season one. Hell of a hell of a hell of a season, y'all. That's a great series. I see why I got nominated by some for so many awards. That's great. Um, it's tough. That ending there was kind of tough because, like, I know that feeling of like you know, I mean, working so hard for something, and then like you just come up short. Like, that's so tough, man. I remember, um, I guess, uh, let's go back to my high school days. Um, playoff game, my senior year. We, uh, we ended up losing it. That was, like, one of the worst friends I ever felt in my life. Because, like, you know, like, once you, like, move on, and I mean, it's not going to be the same because, like, you got a whole new system, whole new people, like, you know what I mean? Like, all your friends you've been with for four years, like, you're not playing with them no more. Like that was, that was man. I tell you, that that's a tough situation to feel. But I like how Tech kind of brought it back to the goldfish thing, cause like that's a great that's a great point. Like it's okay to be sad in the moment, but like you know, what I mean, eventually you gotta get over it and try to like you know, what I mean, figure out what what, what can you do better to to like win next time. I like that. Um. Yeah, I was I was really looking forward to. Uh, to Ted's speech, and his speech is pretty good. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Like, coaches just have this way of like just knowing exactly what to say, and it's so weird. But like, it's always like the perfect moment, the perfect saying, and like everything is just lines up. I wonder if they study these or like, you know what I mean? Like how they figure these out. But yeah, Ted was no different. He was he was on point with his. Jamie Pops is insane. Like he said, uh, I can't remember what episode it was, but it was like when they did the um. Danny's first episode when they had to do the uh, little thing in the room and put the things in the thing and Jamie said like he the reason he plays the way he plays is because like he didn't want his pops to ever call him soft and immediately he made the right play to his teammate his teammate scores they win 
but his pops is going off on him, and like it's like it just brought it back. Like, dang, that's tough, man. And he he literally thought like Ted was literally playing mind games, but Ted was so serious. Like he's proud of Jamie, but then, and now even like I probably Ted probably seeing that like, what was going on. He obviously didn't want to interfere, but like he knew that Jamie needed someone to seem like they were on his side. And that's exactly what Ted did. He gave him a letter and the little army man. So that was pretty dope. I, I, I don't know why I thought like Ted was gonna come back next season. Like, there's literally uh, three seasons in this series so far. So like, for him, uh, for me to think like uh, Ted won't probably won't be back is insane. Like I don't even know. Um, the uh, Roy, yeah, I feel like this probably was his last game. And I get that feeling that either like not want to be around anybody, especially not someone like you mean your your love interest at the time, because like our emotions are coming out and like you're gonna cry. You don't want to cry in front of somebody. I get that, but like her knowing that like he needs somebody also was pretty dope. Like that that shows you know yeah they they're meant to be together. Uh, dang, what else? I can't. Oh, uh, Isaac being team captain is pretty dope. He didn't he don't really get that many lines or nothing like that, but like. I feel like that's leading up to next season. He's going to be, like, a big part, maybe. I don't know. I just got a feeling. Um, yeah, all the side characters were, are, are amazing. You get Sam, he's one of the nicest guy. Danny, his his joy is just, I mean, it's all the way up here. <laughs> uh, dang, uh, Nate being promoted was pretty dope. I did not see that coming. He's an assistant coach now. That's really dope. Which he's well deserved, especially with the play he created for uh, Jamie. That like, the, uh, I guess it's not for Jamie, but Jamie's decoy. That play was pretty dope. So I feel like he deserved that for a while. But yeah, great episode, y'all. I can't wait to see what's going on for season two. Speaking of season two, let's talk about the whole like. Uh, I guess we could summarize the season and then like predictions for the next coming up. Uh. This season, great. It, it was like not full comedy, not full drama, but it was like just the perfect blend of everything, which is pretty dope. Like you got Ted being the most op- optimistic person in the world, but then like deep, like like in the behind closed doors. There we go. <laughs> He's like I mean, going through something where like that divorce was really hitting him hard, but like he didn't let it like take a toll on him. I mean, for a moment he did. He did have a breakdown. But after that, you didn't, re- you didn't like, you know what I mean? It didn't come up really that much. That's pretty dope. Uh, we don't really know uh, Coach Beard's story. We just know that, like, he's always there for dad and their best friends. That's all you really pretty much know. Which I'm cool with, you know what I mean? Maybe in the future, like, they'll, they'll bring it down, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, I got a feeling like Isaac, Isaac and Sam are going to be some big parts. Just because, like... It ended with like, him talking to Sam, you know what I mean? So, of course, I think Sam's going to come back. Isaac, he's going to be team captain from now on. I think Roy's retiring. I wonder what Roy's going to do. Usually players go, like, into, like, coaching something or, like, they go to, like, the, uh, become, like, an analyst or commentator, whatever you want to call him. But, yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what he does. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of excited for season two. I'm just sad that this one, season one ended. Like, but it was pretty good, so I gotta give him credit the way it ended. Um, I'd hate it to be one of the people that had to like wait all this time, uh, <laughs> to get the season two when I can like watch it in the next like five minutes. Ugh, my bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. Once again, if you guys are seeing this reaction, that means I've started season two. You guys can go check that out. Uh, the full season one is already on my Patreon. Stay tuned, y'all. This is, this is, I feel like it's going to be very exciting. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, turn notifications on. Till next time, you guys. Peace.